The greater white line bat has two wavy white or buffy lines on its back. It's found from Mexico to Brazil, and it is an aerial insectivoror that forages under the forest canopy, especially along streams. A single pup is born after the first rains of the rainy season. See how this little black pup hangs onto her mom's belly? Infant babbling in humans is important in the language development process. It turns out that baby white line bats also babble. It's the only known non-primate that does so and probably has to do with its complex and diverse vocabulary. Colonies average five or six bats, but this one has over 40. White line bats have a complex social repertoire Seven different daytime vocalizations are made for territorial defense and courting females. Some of these calls are important for male competition for harem territories. Now you may not like the idea of a harem, but the females seem to be able to freely pick the father of her children. These bats fly over six meters in a second, which seems pretty fast. If disturbed during the day, they have no problem fleeing the roost. Sometimes they roost under bridges of major highways, which are very noisy places. The muscles in a bat's ear keep it closed when relaxed, so it probably doesn't mind all these car noises. Now Vino here is about to catch a bat to show you something really cool. This bat is a member of the sac wing bat family. Here is a real pro in action. Oh, he's saying a lot of stuff to me on this moment. <laughs> Not good things. Not good things. Buenas tardes. Male white line bats fill their wing sacs with secretions from their genital region, urine, the guler gland, and saliva. That's one hell of a concoction. These wing sacs are not glands, but rather for mixing and display of owners. The perfume, if you can call it that, is fanned to roosting individuals while the males hover. Odor is very important among this family for social communication. Their sonogram or spectrogram looks like this. White line bats are common in the Pacific and Caribbean lowlands as well as the Central Valley. It's a bat that's easy to find and enjoy.